Well, it began as an idea to connect all of British Columbia, moving coal and lumber and goods from north to south and back again. But it soon ran into trouble and today still isn't complete the way it was first planned. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports on the PGE. Soon after the turn of the century, the Conservative government of B.C. Premier Richard McBride saw railways as a key to developing British Columbia. On February 27, 1912, the Pacific Great Eastern Railway was born, incorporated as a company. But a short five years later, there was trouble over railroad funds. The railway was plagued by competition from steamships, the war, and high construction costs. The accusation uh, from the Liberals was that funds were going to the Conservative Party from the construction contracts, and a legislative committee looked into that matter in 1917. It also was one of the factors that led to Richard McBride's defeat. Tracks were laid from Vancouver North and there are spikes to prove it. Last spikes for the railway towns along the route. Squamish, Clinton, on to Quinell. Plenty of track opening up BC's interior and Caribou North. When the PGE reached Chetwind, the town was called Little Prairie. But the former Minister of Railways was Ralph Chetwind. So Little Prairie became Chetwind in honour of Ralph Chetwind's passing. BC Premier W.A.C. Bennett had the same vision as his predecessor Richard McBride, and Bennett was a driving force in moving trains north of Quinell, calling for links to the Yukon and Alaska. There was an extensive survey of forestry along the line in 1923 where they first took inventory of the resources. It brought the cattle from Williams Lake, uh, which celebrated with a rodeo when the, the railway first arrived. Uh, but it's how cattlemen in the interior got their, their stock south. And it also had a role to play in the development of mining, including as late as the 1980s when it was connecting Tumbler Ridge. There are memories of the Pacific Great Eastern Railway at the Royal BC Museum, including a paper hat from 1958. The railroad gave out the hats to passengers all along its route. A menu, full breakfast, 85 cents, and reduced fares for students. But construction was slow and often delayed. PGE became known as Prince George eventually. PGE finally connected Squamish to Prince George in 1952. With W.A.C. Bennett's defeat in 1972, the PGE was reorganized as the British Columbia Railway. And rail that is a century old this week in history has rolling stock that's still rolling. It's a CNR rail line and it still connects communities and freight traffic all through the interior of British Columbia. Two premiers, McBride and Bennett, whose vision of tracking industry and commerce remains today. If railways could connect a country, surely they could connect a province. This week in history. Brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.